that thing there. I really want a broke Philippine who doesn't have a pot to piss in, who has to sell her body at night because she's involved in the prostitution in the Philippines. And it's not even a her. She's a transgendered prostitute, one gun. I'm not saying it to be funny. It, well, he just called me a nuisance and he got rid of my behavior. Well, I just got rid of your leg. How's that sound? Well, I just got rid of your leg. How's that sound? Is it fair? Are we even? Are we even Steven now? You said you got rid of me? Look, does this sound like somebody who's sick? <laughs> <laughs> Does this sound like somebody who's sick? Uh -huh. So here, so here he is choking to death on trans homophobic gay pride dance remix chasing my mom, much like one gun. Because this guy's, in my opinion, a um, white supremacist with who I think is my child. What are children doing down there at Sprater's? Matt Sprater, what are you doing there with my child, you fat fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing there with my child, you fat fuck? Hi, Lou, this is Matt Sprater. Joey's at it again. Could you please call me at 2 or I would like a call back within the hour or I'm calling the police and we're gonna do something about this, it's slander. Thank you. Today in True Blonde's news, con man, racist, and women hating stalker Joe McPeak has seemingly finally worn out his welcome living in his mother's garage. This man who spent the last 20 years running a scam, the last seven harassing people calling him out for it, and the five months trying to take down one of his amputee victims' gofungs. Today he created a campaign of his own claiming that his being displaced is caused by black mold and that he needs everybody else money. Along with his usual con man song and dance this GoFundMe seemed to be Joe trying to flex his ego, but it seems Joe quickly realized he couldn't put a fundraiser out using his real name and face without everyone looking him up and seeing his endless abuse directed at others. He makes up a quick poorly thought out lie about how black mold works and grabs a picture of himself back in his 20s so people won't recognize his age con man face. Before the end of the day he took down his own fundraiser which had seemingly earned less than 30 of the demanded $3,500 and made this video where he claims he was gifted all of the money he needs by his loving fans. Then he flashes the check for us all to see his mother's signature, good on her for paying her mentally ill son to move out of her house and stop looking up incest porn on her internet connection, and blaming it on her. Good on her to get the con man who summons police to her house multiple times a month out and somewhere else. We just wanted his internet privileges taken away. Let her wherever this serial harasser ends up he can't afford the tools he uses to abuse us all. Thank you for not supporting this us clown. Have a wonderful day everybody. Except True Bones who looked up incest porn on his mother's internet connection then later blamed it on his own on claiming it was her browser results on his computer. Gross. Dumb. Happy trails, idiot. He's trying to tell me that what I'm doing is no good. That means Anyways, obviously... Anyways, obviously... Him are doing a bunch of stuff together.